Richard Southern joins us this Tuesday for a look at the day's business news. Richard, we begin with a look at that ballooning federal deficit. Oh, it's ballooning, all right, Janelle. It's like a, a deluge of red ink. We heard from the Parliamentary Budget Office today, and it projected that Canada's deficit by the end of the year will hit $330 billion. Dollars wow. with a B, and Janella, this would be the largest in in more than 50 years when you when you consider the fact that it's at 15 percent of gross domestic product. And of course, it's really due to the COVID-19 pandemic. 225 billion of that 330 billion, so the vast majority of it is all the emergency aid that Ottawa has been paying out, the CERB, and so forth. That's hopefully just temporary. The budget office thinks the deficit will shrink next year to $73 billion. However, the chief budget officer notes that it's just barely sustainable, uh, this red ink right now. He says any tax cuts or additional spending could make it unsustainable. So it's trouble. You know, it's cheap to borrow money right now, Janella, but we're still going to have to pay this back down the road. And that's what a lot of people are worried about, because that's a lot of money right there. Yeah, I guess the concern is also what would happen if they didn't, you know, go dip into that deficit to uh, to inject money into the economy. What would the impact of that be? So it's a tough balance there. Yeah, okay. Nine billion, nine million people using the CRB. That's a lot, and they certainly need it. So you're right. Absolutely. Okay. We are obviously spending more time in the kitchen these days. So many people working from home, and one company is cashing in on that trend. It's Tupperware, uh, sales booming for Tupperware, huh. and it's stock, Janela. It's up more than 300% in the past three months. Interesting. Uh, Tupperware, I, well, I know, because you're cooking more at home. you got to have somewhere to put all that extra food, and so consumers are finding Tupperware. Sales in Canada and the U.S. in June were up 30% on a year-over-year -year basis. This is a uh, quite the reversal from before the pandemic. Tupperware was actually struggling in the sales department the past few years, but as you say, everyone is in the kitchen more, and so they need those containers. An interesting knock-on effect there, Janella. Yeah, and we definitely need them. Didn't we talk a couple weeks ago about the fact that people were bringing home food and it was going bad because they were just not planning right or making too yeah. much? Or, uh, so definitely using that Tupperware, but uh, you know, maybe it's uh, staying in the fridge a little too long. <laughs> Maybe so. <laughs> okay, Walmart Canada is taking steps to eliminate its carbon footprint. Yeah, they announced plans, Walmart Canada, to buy more of Tesla's electric 18-wheeler trucks, which are coming out soon. Walmart says it wants to buy 130 of them. So you're going to see these on Canadian roads. Uh, the company says it, it wants 20% of its fleet to be all electric by 2022. But Walmart CEO tells me uh, he's also interested in the autonomous features on these trucks. Hmm. Interesting. We have seen the, the tremendous progress, uh, uh, you know, on, on, on automation in, in, in driving. Uh, I'm sure it will come the day where, you know, we, we just have, uh, you know, our, our drivers really to supervise, in a way, uh, you know, the, the entire uh, trip. So there you go, Janella. The driver would just be watching the truck do its thing down the road. So quite interesting there. Uh, you and I, we're back just after 6.30. Janella to look at some more interesting stories. I hope everyone comes back and joins us then. We'll see you next hour, Richard. Thanks so much. Thanks.